Hey everybody. So we are here. I'm going to do a reading. I want to do a reading. Do a collective timeline reading. Beautiful time because we've got the sun coming in, beaming right in. And um, yes. So welcome in. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes, your wonderful donations. Thank you all for being here, for being a part of this journey with me. Uh, welcome to anyone who's new. Welcome in, welcome all, right? We're here just having fun, playing, playing, playing. So we are going to work with the Angelarium deck. I wanna thank Danielle for sending me this beautiful deck and some wonderful crystals. Hi, Danielle. Thank you, um, appreciate you so much. Um, so we're gonna start out with Angelarium and then we are gonna go into Rider Waite. So we're gonna do a collective message. Collective message. <sighs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, as always, if the reading resonates, take it. If not, let it be, let it be, let it be. It is gonna be there for someone. Who will it be? Who shall it be? We shall see. All right, so we're just gonna... Beautiful, okay. Collective reading, what do we need to know for the collective? 10-13, we're on October 13th, October 13th. Oh, sorry, I forgot about you, little one. Not about her. Hi. You shut up, cool. Okay, so what do we need to know? Ahoy, left leg, submission, hog is coming through. So it's a time to retreat. All right, it's a moment to witness, <laughs> witness that our battles are done. Now we're now surrendering. Right. We're stepping into a whole new way of being, whole new life. Right. So the left leg is also speaking of the feminine frequency. So it's about really with the left leg, the left can always speak and represent the past as well. It's really letting go of past ache, past heartache. Mm, this is about ending the war, about ending the battle. We don't have to fight anymore. As the current seasons are changing, we're coming into a new revelation, into a new season. So a part of embarking on this new scope, new vision, right, new dream, right, is we, we walk in new. So there's something about hold that's coming through about holding back for a little while. Holding back on the way that we review timelines, that we present ourselves to other people. This is really about, this is into the category of IDGAF to keep it a little bit PG for the younger ones out there. This is really about submitting to who you are as the higher self. Submission into your greatest level of clarity and your greatest level of awakening. It's about really that higher truth and that higher honor coming forward now as we're walking forward into the new trajectories into the new pathways. What is this new for you? It will resemble whatever qualities you like it to be, whatever you mode it. To be right so a part of this creation awareness and of your magic is that whatever you want it to be or created to be it will be and it will become so this is being mindful of 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 so many various things such as what we're consuming um what we're uh, uh telepathing what we are sharing with the world as our vision um what we're seeing what we're viewing right and so it's really about submitting to that higher self light that higher conscious reality that we're breathing into right now and understanding at a deeper level why we chose to come to this point in our pathways and in our timelines and, and why we're here now what are we doing coming forward and so a part of that submit right is we submit that request to the higher self we ask those questions to our universe and our universe comes forward and delivers it, it's always going to deliver right um we have to let go of expectation of what it's supposed to look like right because there's been so much 
uh, on the sounding board, right? Of like, oh, I'm a light worker. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to be a priest? Am I supposed to be a magician? What am I supposed to do? It can be all of it, right? But there are lifetimes of agreements that we're here to fulfill. And a part of that is awakening humanity, awakening the self first, but then, and then, but then beginning to um, create a new role for ourselves, right? So what is that new role for us? What is that new role? All right. So now we're going to go into Rider Waite. So the overlying theme in this is submission. Is submission. You say, Ekutura kitashi. Yeah, they're yelling right now. Quit compromising at a soul level. I agree. Quit compromising. You came here to be a beautiful, brilliant light being in a body. Be that beautiful, brilliant, resilient light being in a body. It takes courage. It takes strength. It takes surrender. Surrender. It's about surrender. Let's surrender the narratives. Let's just surrender the victim. Let's surrender... Um, the wars let's surrender the warden let's surrender all of it yeah we can just surrender it right now we can just give it all over surrender it all okay. new timeline all right so at the center of the reading it's our emotional mastery here it's knowing that um it's knowing that at the heart, we, we deserve the rewards that life has to offer, but we've also come a long way. We've come a long way in our journey and it's time to really celebrate that. Um, but the, what's getting in the way is that there's, there's something that you are supposed to be giving in this world, right? That seems to be a block. What is this download? What is this insight, right? This page of pentacles is a, is a young, youthful, fruitful adventure, right? But there is something you're supposed to share with the world and that seems to be getting in the way. So at some level, I'm feeling that for the collective that you know who you are, but you might not be so sure what to share, what to do, what to be, right? So there's too much worry in that. Just submit, just submit, submit, submit. And I'm going to get some clarifiers at the end of this to see, to see more. So what's the underlying energy? Ooh, Knight of Pentacles <laughs> coming forward with that download, right? It's knowing the underlying theme is that there is a slow moving energy. There's a slow buildup of a project of some sort that you're going to be offering the world. So this is a slower moving night. This is a, this is the pentacles. It's grounded, right? So there is some sort of desire or design or pathway. The energy is, is that there is this forward movement. It's just slow. It's still gestating. It's still coming to be coming to life, right? So keep following that energy. It's, it's a, it's a slow moving pace but do not let the worries come in okay Ooh, crowning the reading ace of pentacles abundance physical spiritual material there is something um the 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 crown of this reading <clears throat> at the higher self level is there is a download there's something that is being given to you right that you're here to share with the world we're all it's all pentacles here it reminds me of star codes whenever i see this i think of star codes there's some sort of download that the universe is offering you, right? You're, you might be afraid to get it out, right? Well, it's going to be about really stepping to that knowing that when your heart is on fire, nothing can stop you, okay? When your heart and your breath is on fire, <sighs> nothing can stop you, okay? Here we go. Past, what are we looking at in the past here? Ooh, abandonment, five of pentacles. Feeling abandoned, feeling like you're not taken care of, maybe taken advantage of, right? Um, hmm. Feeling like you are, this is separated. You're separated from life, you're separated from the world, separated from the reality. Um, welcome to being a, um, a light being. This feels like you've been outcast by society, okay? That you weren't taken care of or loved. Yes, Wheel of Fortune, look at that. In the future, we have that portal. We have that new opening. We have the wheel turning in your favor. We have Libra with the balance coming in, bringing balance and opening up a new pathway for you, right? So this is a whole new world, a whole new opportunity that's coming in for you. <clears throat> now, a part of this is, is how do we take care of this feeling of separation or this extreme exhaustion? right or this extreme fight because when you're left out in the cold or feeling like you're left out in the cold for a while yeah okay that's why it's because you've been diligently working you've been working hard 
right? You've been putting together all the codes, all the parts of you. You've been assembling the pieces, right? But we're not quite at the 10. We're at the seven still. It's still coming to life. So a part of this is that, yeah, you've been working hard. You've been going through it, but now you're looking at it and going, why haven't I seen what I've been calling forward? <laughs> welcome, to, welcome to earth school. There's a lot of us that are going through that right now. But it's also too, it's that, you know, there's, um, there are rewards, there are rewards. And I want to remind you that, that me as the wizard want to let you know that there are rewards. Okay. So now we have three of swords and the eight of pentacles. Okay. So this is still that it's, we're climbing up, but there's still some heartache from all the work that has had to go get, get through in this experience for ourselves. This is why the divide and conquer tactics, the fear, the no more comes through, right? Because we've been doing the work, right? We've been assembling the pieces. We've been anchoring the grids. We've been doing, why isn't it here yet? Well, we have to stop fighting one another. That's why we have to get the swords out of our heart and stop throwing the swords at one another. We need to cast magic with one another. We don't need to be fighting one another, right? So it's interesting because it's even, it's to even look at this, we're seeing an evolution here. From the seven into the eight, what's getting, what is getting in the way of us being able to evolve our creations it's the heart we need an open heart we need to let go of the pain right <laughs> and uh it's that whole no pain no gain right and it's also to the pain for pleasure approach let's clear that one out of our lifetimes right now okay to move forward on this journey we don't need to pain we don't need painful misery or sorrow to get done what we need to get done and to learn and to grow and to evolve we need to open up the heart space so this is very much so heart activation time let's get the heart open that's how we get the job done it's through the essence of love it's not from the essence of hate when we're creating from hate or we're creating from fear we're creating a diabolical timeline so let's clear cancel delete that and let's make sure that we are clearing off all of that energy from the subtle bodies let's transmute all the pain and come back into a place of divine love and divine care of self and know that that love that reverberates through the chambers of our heart, through the chambers of our temple, through the chambers of our archives, it is what is needed in the evolutionary state. So the block from getting from the seventh to the eight, or we can even see seventh dimension to eighth dimensional level of awareness, right? And that connection point in our reality is some sort of heartache, right? Some sort of heartache. Is there anything else that the rider weight wants to let us know? Ooh, it's about the empress right it, this is the essence of the feminine this is that the purified archetype of the divine feminine the goddess rising from within what do we need to know about the goddess it's very much so about resem the resemblance of that quality and tonality in our life how are we treating ourselves like the goddess because this is where that nurture and nature function comes into play comes into the reality right so forgive the leaves We've got some elementals here playing in the deck this, how do we remove the swords? We remove the swords by coming into this quality of being the goddess, taking care of our body, taking care of our form, taking care of our temple, taking care of our heart. If you are to depict the goddess in your own life in a purified higher self, interdimensional over soul way, how would that empress be treating herself, right? How would that goddess be treating herself? How would the, the purified feminine be treating herself, right? And we are working with the number three here. So it is about that trinity. It's about that It's about that union, that unified self, right? So working with that number three, we're also recognizing that there's a pillar here. And a pillar is that trinitization pattern. It's the mother, father, child working in harmony to awaken that goddess from within. So there is a unified self. And a part of that unified self is making sure that we're clearing the swords out of the heart and we're actually anchoring those into our multidimensional threads, right? So let's remove the swords and let's begin anchoring more of our multidimensionality through the diamond heart, right? Coming back into the Lyran heart, the diamond multidimensional complex of the heart and allow that to reverberate, right? Allow that to reverberate. Okay, anything else that we need to know? Ah, yes, to make sure that we are taking time to observe our magic to observe our realities to observe our creation right this is an observational standpoint of view reflect review what do i need to change what do i need to shift in my reality right if i am here to be this empress right anchoring the divine feminine returning the divine feminine returning the child from within right returning the wonder the awe the amazement the amusement right is now 
let's review our pathways. Are we really creating that amusement in our lives or are we still getting down and worried, right? Are we still playing in the blame game? Are we still shaming or guilting one another or ourselves? Are we not fully embodying our magic? These are all imperative questions for the timelines that are coming up, right? So a part of this internal review that we can have all with ourselves is going, where am I not letting the Empress fully thrive within my own form? Where am I not allowing this goddess to, to rise from within? Where am I not taking care of this beautiful feminine nature nurture quality, whether in your female form or a male form, we all hold the goddess within. Welcome to awakening. I know it feels weird. When I awoken, when I woke up to my priestess aspect within the form, and I was just talking to, um, to Alexander about this today. Um, but by the way, if you ever need to get a soul retrieval session or to get some galactic shamanism work, go check out Alexander Mazone at galactictarot.com. Does wonderful work, does wonderful work. I was talking about this today about awakening my priestess from within. When I awaken my priestess within, um, it was very strange being in a male form, waking up as the priestess, right? I felt strange. I didn't know how to work with the energy of it because I still had the functionality of a male body, but I hear I hold all this feminine and goddess archetype and feminine and goddess frequency from within me. So how do I navigate that as a man? Well. I have to now learn how to pursue new things. I have to begin to honor my creation, honor who I am from within, not neglect the soul, right? Not neglect the 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 um, the interdimensional selves and <laughs> the interdimensional elves that exist within me, taking care of them and, and supporting them within the body, within the form. So what does that support look like? It's gonna look different for every individual. Everyone's got their own instruction manual and sheet on how to do this, right? What does my body need? How do I care for it? How do I take care of it, right? And then it's also beginning to look at in those timelines, in those pathways as well as if you can't fully care or guard for yourself or take care of your children or take care of your mothers, your wives, your family, right? What can I do to, be, to begin offering myself an opportunity to activate that potentiality within my reality, right? Because when we activate that potentiality within the reality, we're gifting ourselves an opportunity to see, be, breathe, and do new. Right, so we also have to begin to look our look at our our life paths and go. I, I'm worthy of more, right? I'm deserving of more. I can t I, I can take care of myself better, but th this is what my qualifications and my requirements are for the reality, right? That's speaking your spell into existence. Okay, so I I have things, I have wants, I have needs, right? I need food on the table, right? I need to take more supplements. I need to get a gym membership, right? I I need to buy myself a new home. I need a car, right? Those are the things that are that are going to be essential, right? So then now that we're putting that forward into creation How is that going to support our creation for these realities that we're building, right? These internal structures and the internal design and the new templates, right? How does this support what I'm calling forward into my reality? We always want to make sure with that which we are calling forward. We're also using that to support in some way How am I using this to help one another? How am I using this to help myself, right? How is this supporting the goddess within? Very important questions because these questions are how we get to know our internal design we get to know why we've been building our own matrix, why we've been doing so many things. Like all these questions, uh, especially about our ideology, right? And our belief systems is, getting, is we're going to become more aware of what it is we're here to do and also what spell we've been under for quite some time and, and how we can awaken out of that, right? How can we awaken out of that? So the sun's going down. So let's catch the last little bit of rays of hope from beautiful Solaris. Here we go. Ace of Cups. There's that over overflowing abundance. Right? This is the waters of the divine flowing through us and it's coming in now, right? So now that you've recognized, okay, that yes, we need to take care of the empress and the goddess within and the feminine, right? There is some sort of emotional fulfillment that we're calling in. The universe is going, well, here you go, present from the divine. Let's fill up your cup, All right? Let's fill up your cup. Let's fill up your chalice. Let's fill up your heart. Let's get the heart online, right? So, Heart spilleth over with divine love. Because with the divine love and divine glory, this overfilled cup of divine love and divine essence of source from within us, it spills out onto others. It spills out into the reality. So when we are in this overflowing miracle of self, the overflowing miracle of divine love and the divine essence of ourselves, we now begin to share that with the world. This is why we need to overflow with that abundant energy. We need to recharge our light. We need to recharge our energy. We also need to focus on our own emotional well-being and the abundant nature of our emotions, right? That requires us to feel fully. We don't negate or bypass an emotion. We allow that emotion to be what it is and perceive it to be, and we allow ourselves to feel it fully when it rises to the surface. We don't want to activate an old memory, but when the old memory comes to the surface, let's clear it out. Let's feel it. Let's, let's dump it. Let's dump it. Let's get the feminine heart, right? The human heart open, and let's just get all that stuff out, right? We don't have to hold on to it no more. 
We don't. We really do not have to hold on to it anymore. Anything else that wants to come through for the collective? Ooh. Yes, okay, we are shifting. We are shifting from an old support into a new support network. We're taking out the betrayal and we're becoming abundant again, right? So let's take the swords out of our back, out of our spine. Everywhere we've been betrayed, everywhere we've witnessed persecution, um, anything. Uh, there's so much that's coming through. I'm even hearing prostitution, right? There's, there's a lot of stuff that has happened that has suppressed the feminine and the goddess from within us. And as a result, all those pains, fears, and torments of the third dimensional world and, and, and society and culture, it, it can kind of start to suppress our own feminine from being able to come forward. So a rise up of this goddess from within is going, the old ways that you view the feminine structures, the feminine tonality, the way that you've seen the goddess being treated. We need to let go of that because we're creating this new now and, and in this abundant universe that we exist in and co-create in, right? We're abolishing all of that. It's all gone. It's done. The light already won, right? So we're coming back into this really beautiful, abundant nature of ourselves, knowing our worth, knowing our value, knowing our ability to create, right? Knowing our creatures. She's got her creature with her. She knows her creatures. She knows her habits. Job well done. It's all over now. We clear the pain body. And here comes the morsel of truth. Ding, ding, ding. It's you. The miracle is you, right? And this is the balance point in the trajectory of coming into who you are truly. And this abundant nature, this miracle energy is the miracle of you. It's the miracle of your life. It's the miracle of your joy. It's the miracle of your world, your ability to create, right? So this is the magic of creator consciousness. So how do we play with this, right? Well, first off, we have to submit. We have to submit. We have to surrender to the higher self. We have to give over all of the old garbage, all the old baggage, right? Let's take it to the temple of the divine. And let's ask for them to take it. So mode it be. Cool. Clear that out. Transmute the pain body. Come in a deeper level of awareness. Awaken the soul higher self from within, right? The multidimensional self. Ground it into the form. Okay. Now that we're here, what is your intelligent design? Right? What is your sacred creation? What is your, your Christos tonality? Take some notes, right? Get out a pen and paper and start scratching down ideas that you have for this. What, what is your design? What is your pathway? What is your plan? It's held within you. Once again, Ace of Pentacles, the download came through. When did it come through? Probably came through in dream state. That might be why too it's good to get out a journal. Start writing down your dreams. Something came through in dream state. There's a download or an activation, right? There's a portal within you that wants to share its design. And as a part of that, right? That's what this, this block is. Like, I, I know who I am. I've come all this way. I've collected all my trophies. I know who I am, but... Uh, uh. Well, once again, the underlying energy is that you're here to offer that to the world. You're here to bring this forward, to bring this codex, to bring this beautiful opportunity from the world. See it as a beautiful opportunity, right? And I know it's easier said than done. When you're in the experience, it's different than a complete, like, neutral, observant perspective, right? So we want to just remind you, okay? You've not been abandoned, you've not been lost. You might have been misunderstood, but here, <laughs> here with the divine, you're very much so understood, you're very much so loved, you're very much so cared for, right? So don't let the peoples tell you differently. Let them walk away, let them walk away, right? Let them walk away, let the divine hold you and take care of you, right? And the divine within all sees that within all, so mode it be, okay? The wheel is turning in our favor, right? The wheel of justice is shifting momentum in our favor. Job well done, we've done good, high five, air five, cool. Love you guys, we're doing good, okay? We're doing good on the pathway. But as a result, th this heart stuff is coming up. So we need to resolve the heart, we need to feel fully, get into it, right? Get into your intuition, ask those questions. What are my gifts? What are my abilities? What am I here to provide for this beautiful world? What am I here to provide for my children? What am I here to provide for the deities, for the goddess, for the gods. What am I here to channel forward and through, right? What am I here to express from my own consciousness? What am I here to create? We're lighting the way. And the magics are here. The magic stars are here. We're here, we're playing. Hi, hi, how's it going? Merlin's here. So get out your wizard hat. Get out your pen and paper and start writing and start belonging because you do belong here. Okay, I want to state that you belong here. You and your magical star self, you and your elven presence, right? You and your beautiful god and goddess, you and your warrior heart, you and your dragon, you and your fae, right? You in all of the timelines and all the realities belong here. Even you, little evil one, you're not evil, but you belong here. 
okay, right? But there's work to be done, guys. There's work to be done, and, and we're here to get it done. All right, so what is that for us? It's gonna shift and it's gonna change, and it's gonna be more than just showing up and doing tarot readings, right? Or, or showing up online, showing up on YouTube. It's about getting out there, helping the world, making this world a better place. It's possible within, within all of us. Now, it begins with the I, the I am. What am I here to do? What am I here to command in reality? Right? What spell am I casting out into the world? What am I sharing as a part of this beautiful hope that's aligning for all of us right now? Okay? Starts with the I am, and then we go and we spread that through the all. We share it, yes, here through the quantum field. We share it through our remembrance. We share it through our awareness. We share it through our codes, but we also go out and we got to get the work done. That's the action sense. Right now, it's about goddess time. So we're going to go into goddess time, right? So we're going to we're going to clear out the perception of evil. We're going to clear out, transmute the perception of duality and of polarity. We're going to come back into oneness and we're going to gift ourselves some goddess time. So that goddess time is going within nature, nurture, baths, popcorn, movies, brilliance, beauty. Glam yourself up. Go get a massage. Go get your nails done. Go get your hair cut. Get all pampered. You know what I'm saying? Even you gentlemen, yes, within you, it's time for yourself to treat yourself as the goddess and to awaken that. We need more men that are gentle giants, okay? We need more gentle giants. We also need the return of the warrior goddess, the Valkyrie. Yes, that's coming through very much so too, right? The goddess is more than just nature and nurture. There is a powerful part of her that is awakening within all of us. That is the merger of the feminine and the masculine awakening that from within. So it is still a goddess archetype, but it's got a lot of power thrown into it. A lot of power, a lot of power. But right now, we're coming into the essence of nurture. The essence of nurture and caring for the heart so we can remember. So we can remember that a part of this creation and these timelines that we're building and a part of this ascension pathway and this awakening and all this stuff is we need to take care of our heart. We need to care for our heart. We need to be gentle with our heart. We need to be positive with our heart and how we are approaching the heart within ourselves and the heart within all, right? We all have some level, are carrying some stuff from other lifetimes and we're here to shift that shit out, okay? So if you have an encounter with someone and you find it's a little sharp or a little bit vulnerable or you're feeling weak, right? Like, okay, let's go in. Let's clear it. Let's transmute it. Let's shift the storyline out. Let's upgrade the reality. Let's realign it. Let's come back together from the heart, right? No, we're not courting to the heart, but we're connecting and we're connecting with the heart, right? Not courting, right? But we're actually connecting through the heart space with ourselves, but with one another. It requires that gentleness with ourselves though, because we, once again, we need more gentle giants in this world. We need more beautiful magic. We need more play. We don't need more war and more discord. No, we need more. We need to fuel that fire with passion and not take it out into aggression. So angels, dragons out there, get your wings ready. Get them online. It's time to be beautiful. Okay, we can do it. We've got it. This time around, we've got it. We've got it. We're going to do it. We're going to get it done. All right. So I love you guys. Much love and respect to everyone out there. Thank you all for your likes, shares, and subscribes. If you would like to donate, please do so. Links are in the description box. If you'd like to book a personal session with me, you can. www.foundersoflight.org As always, take care of yourself. Be well. Be kind. Be nurturing. Be strong. Take care of yourself. Take care of one another. We all need it right now. Okay? Love you guys. And with that, I will see you in another moment of the now. Kushiera tu suru ushka Namaste.